Hello students, welcome back to this another episode of 5 minute maths and today we guys are going to learn a concept of permutation combination. So the question that we guys have at hand is in how many ways we can divide 30 mangoes to 5 people a very generic day to day usage problem that 30 mangoes are there we have to give it to 5 people in how many ways this can be done. So I know a lot of you would say that sir it's a very easy problem I know it. Some of you would say, sir, I do not remember the formula or some of you would say, sir, I do, don't even know it. Aap tino ke liye, please, next five minutes are really important. So watch out. I'm going to tell you the interesting way to actually prove the formula also. So pehle aate hai, dekhte hai ki formula kya hota hai. This concept is called division of identical items. What do you mean? N identical items. So here N as compared to our question, let's go back to the question. 30 mangoes. Mangoes are all identical when we say well, they are all eventually mangoes. Similarly, a 1 rupee coin, whatever, it might be a, a very hard pressed coin which has some shade over it, it always will be a 1 rupee coin. So in that way, 30 mangoes are identical. We have to divide that in R groups. Here the groups were 5, right? Such that each gets a 0 or more. That means, what do you mean? This is a very important thing that such that each group gets 0 or more. So in this particular context of the question, 30 mangoes could be given to, all the 30 mangoes can be given to one particular person. This could be one of the possible ways of dividing it. It could be possible the 30 mangoes are divided in four and the fifth person doesn't get any anything. It could be possible that the fifth person and the fourth person and the third person does not get anything. The first to get 15, 15, 16, 14, whatever the ratio. So all these cases are possible. So and the answer to this particular question would require you to find all those particular cases. So, how do we do Formula is there in front of you. The formula is n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1. And in some places, we forget very quickly. Right? The problem is that formula looks very simple, but we forget it. So, I am going to tell you an interesting way to prove it or rather remember it. Let's take small pieces. Let's say we have five items. And we want to distribute them in three people, three groups. So how the arrangement is done, please listen to this very carefully. So for five items, I draw circles. That is five circles. Right? For three groups. So now that means, ye jo balls banai hai. Now you want them to be segregated in three parts. So now understand like this. This is a thread. Right? If you want to cut the thread in three parts, how many cuttings you will have to do? This is a thread. You want to cut the thread in three parts or three threads are to be made. How many cuttings you would do? You will do three cuttings or you will do two cuttings? Absolutely. You will do two cuttings because once you do two cuttings, it will actually give you three parts. So similarly, if I break this particular thread in three parts, then I have to break how many break points, how many scissors will I have At any two points. Let's say, randomly. Right? It could be possible that for these five, I start from the cutting from the one. This denotes that one part is zero. Agar main yaha cut karta hon, that means is ka thread ka length kitna ho gaya? Zero ho gaya. I could have drawn here. I could have drawn here. That means all five to one and remaining at zero. Understood? So, PNC kaise bana isme? Now notice, very very interesting. How many total you have got? These were five balls which we started with. You wanted to divide in 3. So for that, how many scissor points bana We made 2 scissor points. How many there are in total? 7. Out of these 7 spots, you require only 2 spots to be filled. 7C2. That's it. Out of those 7 slots, you have many slots? There are two slots. जहां पर ये प्लेस करा जाएगा तो अगर आप इसको कन्वर्ट करते द फार्मूला वाज n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 सो इफ यू नोटिस दिस बिकम्स व्हाट n इज 5 हियर 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 व्हिच रिड्यूसेस योर टू दिस आंसर ओनली 7 c 2 दिस इज हाउ यू कैन क्विकली रिमेंबर व्हेनेवर दिस टाइप ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम कम्स इनटू द एग्जामिनेशन एंड नाउ इफ वी वांट टू गो बैक एंड सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ यू नो Easy peasy way out. 30 plus 5 minus 1. C5 minus 1. So the answer to this particular problem is 34 C4. That is these how many cases will be possible when we want to give 30 mangoes to 5 people. 
I hope you have understood a new way to remember the formula, interesting way to prove it as well. And this formula now will be embedded in your mind for a very long time. God bless. See you in the next 5-minute video. Hope you are enjoying the 5-minute sessions with me.